Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to increase impression on Fiverr gigs. So the aim of this video is that I'm going to be sharing my top insider tips and hard won strategies to substantially improve your Fiverr search rankings so that many more buyers find and actually click on your gig listings. Getting a high search position and visibility through impressions on Fiverr is absolutely critical for driving traffic to your gigs and ultimately converting them into sales. First things first, what exactly are impressions within Fiverr's platform and why are they so important? Impressions, also called views by some, refer to the number of times your gig thumbnail appears to buyers in Fiverr's search results pages. This can happen organically whenever potential customers search for related keywords, browse through categories looking for services, or utilize Fiverr's various built-in discovery and recommendation tools. So essentially, anytime a buyer's eyes land on your gig thumbnail and title while searching, whether they clicked on it or not, it counts as an impression. So you can view the lifetime total number of impressions for each one of your gigs within the gigs tab under every individual gig listing. This impressions number indicates exactly how much raw visibility and exposure your gigs are getting across Fiverr's platform. So every single impression represents a split second opportunity to grab the buyer's attention with an enticing title thumbnail image and description. So if you optimize these elements properly, you have a great chance of convincing the buyer to click to learn more about your gig. So without impressions, your gig sits hidden with no chance of discovery by the buyers and no impressions means no orders. That's why understanding how to maximize impressions is so crucial. So the goal is to maximize visibility through impressions to get your gigs seen by more potential buyers and here are the most crucial optimization factors. Your gig title is one of the most important elements for ranking in Fiverr's search algorithm. The title appears front and center in the search results above your thumbnail. You want to include your single most important and in-demand core service keyword that buyers are actively searching for. The title must capture attention fast. So do keyword research to determine the top one or two buyer search terms related to your service and fit the primary one prominently into your concise but compelling title. Second thing is expanding on the title. Every Fiverr gig has a setting for an SEO title that is only visible to search bots and algorithms, not the buyers. This is where you want to optimize for all of your relevant keywords and intent phrases while keeping the human facing title clean. So definitely don't skip the SEO title. After that, you want to be listing your gigs in the most accurately aligned category within Fiverr's marketplace. Consider niche subcategories when available for less competition. So choose categories where buyers would logically search for your type of service, listing in unrelated or overly broad category hurts discoverability. When creating a gig, Fiverr allows entering metadata like project types, delivery times, and other identifiers, so completely fill this one out. The more metadata you provide, the easier it is for buyers to find your gigs when filtering the search parameters. So don't leave any fields blank so that when people are filtering, your gigs actually show up. Fiverr also allows adding up to 5 important keyword search tags per gig. These should be your most essential buyer intent phrases. So avoid vague or unrelated tags, match your keywords to actual search behavior patterns that you see in your niche so that you can laser target your customers. The next tip is to structure your gig pricing tiers carefully. It's a well-known fact by now that Fiverr's algorithm strongly rewards gigs that take full advantage of the three pricing structure basic, standard, and premium. The exact pricing of each tier depends on your niche, but always use all three. This signals to the algorithm that your gig offers robust options. When buyers search for services, they often filter by delivery time, so make sure to set realistic delivery times for each pricing tier. For example, don't show three-day delivery if you can't actually fulfill most orders that quickly, as alignment would encourage clicks. Another extremely important tip is to maximize the visual media in your listings. Images and videos greatly boost engagement, so use all three image slots and add a video walkthrough demonstrating your services when applicable. Fiverr guides note that adding video can improve conversion rates by up to 40% or even more in some cases, as visuals attract clicks. On the other side, here are some of the key mistakes that can actively damage your rankings and impressions. The first one is creating a duplicate or spammy gigs that are trying to cheat the system. This behavior will actually get you banned. Second thing is panicking and continually deleting then remaking your gig hoping for a reset. This actually hinders you. And thirdly, making reactionary changes based on short-term trends versus long-term data. So instead, focus relentlessly on over-delivering immense value to buyers with every single order. 
This will then earn you 5 star reviews and excellent private feedback that boosts your visibility over time. So in summary, getting frequent impressions on Fiverr is all about flawless execution of your search engine optimization fundamentals and thoroughly optimizing every element of your gig. By mastering the platform's algorithm and consistently fine-tuning your titles, tags, categories, delivery times, etc., you will then maximize the visibility and the search rank. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then make sure to leave a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can create related to this one.